Hook versus Johnny TV. Okay, now before we get into this, I just want to mention something here. I don't want people to get mad, so I'm not going to try to lose my temper here. But uh, we all went to uh, that that uh, Dynamite show, right? Did. You didn't, Craig. Mm-mm. But Rob did. We're well aware of that. Yeah. Vinny went. I did. Okay. So and avoided all confrontation. Okay. So there was a segment with Jericho and Hook, right? Yes. And Hook wants a rematch at Jericho's title. Stop me when I'm incorrect here. Jericho told him, you must have a qualifying match on collision, correct? Uh, yeah. That's what said. Okay. No. Didn't announce an opponent. No. Right? Right. Okay. Then they go backstage and they do a segment, and Hook is there, and he's asked, who do you want to face, or will you face whatever, blah, blah, blah. He said, I'll face anybody. Shabbat says, will you face me? Because I want a shot at Jericho as well. And then Samoa Joe comes in and he belittles both of them. Is that all correct? That is what happened. Yes. 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 Yeah, yes. Okay. Hmm? Well, uh, I'll try to make this quick, but uh, Thursday I went to uh, uh, Chaperone Paisley's second grade class to a play. And uh, then I did, you know, whatever else I had to do during the day. I did our show, Vinny. Hmm? Okay. And then Friday, I uh, don't do Observer Live, so I did other fatherly business, et cetera, taught jiu-jitsu, which, by the way, Rob didn't show up to. That's another story entirely. But anyway, uh, then Saturday came, and I, I lived a normal life like a normal human, okay? And then I watched, I started watching Collision. Did anybody in this room or on this program, have any idea what was going on with this qualifying deal? The three matches? No. No? Mm-mm. No. 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 They, they, well, not when they came out. Very early in this first one, they explained that there would be a three-way at Dynamite, and the winner of that we had a title shot. But with who? They didn't tell you, did they? No. Not right away, no. 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 Hook comes out to face Johnny TV. I was just like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, what the fuck's going on? So after all that that we saw on Dynamite, his qualifying match is versus... What about Shibata? It's because Johnny TV? What about Joe? So I'm like, okay, whatever. So they they do this match, and uh, obviously Hook wins. I, mean, I don't even know why we had the qualifying match, but he wins, okay? So then they just put a graphic up on the screen, and they say, Hook now heads to Dynamite for a three-way eliminator to get a shot at the title. And I was like... So he was an eliminator to get into an eliminator. Yeah. Right? Was, yeah. yeah, I guess so. Yeah, for lack of a better term. Uh, okay. So I'm like, okay, what, what the fuck is going on? So then out comes Shibata. I'm like, okay, well, maybe Shibata's got a qualifying match. Joe? No. Out comes Rocky Romero. Yeah. Okay. I like Rocky. Match was fun. Mm-hmm. Shibata wins. Now Shibata is going to this. He's qualified for the qualifier. Okay? Right. So now I got it all figured out. Okay, the there next guy coming out is going to be Samoa Joe. Yeah, that would make sense. Yep. Gotcha. Hook, Shibata, Samoa Joe. Correct. Okay. Well, the next fucking guy that comes out is Brian Keith. Mm-hmm. I thought, man. Joe's going to kill this guy. Yeah. So Brian Keith gets in the ring, and I'm sitting there waiting to hear that music. I like Joe's music. I like that guy. And fucking as God is my witness. If if people didn't, like if people didn't know, they would think I'm making this whole fucking thing up. Out comes Beefcake Boulder. <laughs> Beefcake Boulder. Sure. I thought, okay, well, this is kind of a silly match, but, like, it ain't a qualifier. No. Well, moments in, they announce it is a qualifier. Why in the fuck are Brian Keith and Beefcake Boulder in a qualifier to get into a three-way qualifier? (laughs) What? Do you know there's a thread on our board where people are arguing, like, why is the 18 to 34 audience, you know, leaving AEW in droves? Mm. And honestly, honestly, 
I think most of the reason is the NBA and uh, whatever NHL. else is going on right NHL. now, NHL. Yeah. I think they'll come back when it's over to a degree. But, like, if there was another reason, this is one of those reasons, okay? Th- this show, this was three fucking matches where I'm sitting there as a viewer who's been watching since the 80s, and I am lost, okay? I am totally lost. If there's one of you listening right now going, well, you should have paid better fucking attention, I got I got a response to you, and that is, fuck off, okay? I am like everybody else when I'm not doing this job, okay? And if I were anybody else between Wednesday and Saturday, I would not have been sitting there on Twitter every fucking 10 minutes finding out what the lineup is for collision. I'd have been in the exact same position, not knowing what in the fuck is going on. So... On Wednesday, apparently, we have Hook, Shibata, and Brian Keith in a qualifying match to get a shot at Chris Jericho at the pay-per-view. And we had a long stretch of collision where I was sitting there going, what am I doing with my life? What is happening right now? And this is what I got. The matches were fine. Actually, the Beefcake Boulder Brian Keith match was not fine. I don't even know why it was on television. The Mm -hmm. other two were, like, fine. But... This is a big problem, and the people that love AEW don't want to acknowledge that this is a problem. They love it, and so they're going to just watch it, okay? That's what 18 to 49 people, or uh, 35 to 49-year-old people do, and uh, 50-plus, okay? We've been watching this a long time. It takes a lot to run us off. If you're 18 to 34 or younger, you ain't tolerating this shit. You're done. You're gone, okay? Golly. Am I the only one? I was confused, but I was certainly not as uh, impassioned as you were. Why does everything have to be a mystery? Well, I don't know. (laughs) Why does it have to be a mystery? (laughs) What did this have to do with anything that we watched on Dynamite on? We were fucking there, okay? And what happened there had nothing, nothing in line with what happened on Collision. They just made a bunch of shit up. With two of the guys that were kind of involved, Joe's nowhere to be seen, and then Beefcake Boulder's there. What? Well, I presume that they're going to do the three-way. Hook's going to win. They do not want Shibata to lose, nor do they want Samoa Joe to lose. Ergo, Keith Bryan, come on down. Brian Keith. Brian Keith. (laughs) You don't even know his name. There's probably Keith Bryan out there, too. God. I'll look for that right now. Okay, well, Brian's had his speech there, Keith. I got more. Oh, okay. I'm going to try and make it quick, okay? I went to Dynamite with my friend Bo. You know Bo. Yes. Trains at the gym. Knows nothing about pro wrestling, okay? But he's in the 18 to 34 age group. And I said, hey, I got an extra ticket. You want to go? He said, sure. So we went, okay? Bo had a great time. Loved the show. I had a great time. Loved the show. But one of the big problems with AEW, and this show is a perfect example of it, is the show as a whole, it's like, if you look at it in a vacuum, it was a fun show. The matches were fun. There were good matches. We had bangers. We had Will Ospreay barely beating. I shouldn't say barely beating, but I mean, he went 50-50 with Shane Taylor, even though we knew who was going to win. And like, the thing is, If you're one of the people who doesn't care about any of that, everything's great. But if you're one of the people that does care about this sort of thing, and the fact that, like, as much as I love Dynamite, it's like, when it was over, I wasn't clamoring for what was going to happen on Collision. Well, like, I couldn't wait to go to Portland. Like, the show was over, and it was over. Bo didn't ask me. He actually asked me one question. He asked me one question on the way out of the building. It was not about anything he saw on the show, any angles, You know, what's this person about? What's his character about? Whatever. The one question was, did we really see three world championship matches on that show? And I said, yeah, we did. He goes, that's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? And I said, well, you know, they actually have about 18 belts, so it's not that ridiculous. But that was the one thing that he got out of it, is why are there so many belts defended on a television show? That's a normal person, okay? Okay. He wasn't wondering, like, what's going to happen next with this angle or that angle or everything. It's like he enjoyed a self-contained show, and now he's moving on with his life. 
And that's one of the things about AW and the Dynamite show and the Collision show. I like the show. When the show's over, I enjoyed myself. But where is a thread that connects all of these shows, that makes you want to tune into the next show? The big cliffhanger to lead you to Collision. A Dynamite cliffhanger leads you to the next Dynamite. Or a Dynamite three weeks down the road. It doesn't lead you to Collision. A Collision cliffhanger doesn't lead you to Dynamite. It's like, there's so many things going wrong here in the middle of a, like, everything's okay. Does that make sense? Am I the only one? Does anybody know what I'm talking about here? No, 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 I get it. Yes, uh, when, 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 a, when a match on a good show ends, you should be not just that was a good match, but also I can't wait to see what happens yeah, next. Yeah, what's next? And the two questions you almost never ask about AEW matches are, what happens next? And uh, I don't know if it's a question, but uh, man, that was a satisfying payoff to a long-term storyline or an exciting chapter in the storyline or something. Stuff just happens. Yes, when every show is a great self-contained show, there's no incentive to watch another show unless you just want to watch great wrestling that night. Could you have skipped this collision and missed nothing? Yes. Could you skip most AEW shows and really honestly miss nothing? Yes. But, like, there's no storyline where, my God, I've got to watch the show because I'm going to miss this. Or i, I got to see what's going to happen next. The mystery, the, the, the weaving of the storylines through the shows, that's all missing. It's just, this is happening on this show. We're not going to tell you what's happening on the next show. Oh, on that show, something happens. We'll tell you a couple things for the next show, but not everything. I don't know. I was frustrated watching this show, even though I liked it. You can barely tell. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.